hit that bell i'm watching what's up everybody if you're new welcome if you're welcome back to my channel i'm jerry and you're watching live with jerry and i'm back again with another book 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 bango what's up the gang what's up the squad i'm the gang i'm the squad what was you thinking before we get to this video give this video a thumbs up subscribe like comment share follow me on all my social medias follow my everything will be down below get this video to 150 likes and without further ado let's get into this banger video all right y'all so it's a vlogmas and y'all know every vlogmas i come to y'all with an unpopular opinions video and today i have my guesses Maya with me to get hers too and baby the girls are gonna be mad today but it's okay it's okay it's okay it's okay these are our opinions and we're entitled to our opinions Period. so y'all can just be mad i guess you feel me because we gotta shake the table shake it without further ado we finna get to these unpopular opinions once again our opinions okay sorry not sorry thank you i have mine on my phone because y'all know i had to jot down my stuff social media is all about looks numbers and cloud chasing now and less about talent sorry not sorry i don't care i feel like if you know somebody or you came up through somebody type shit or people think you're cute like you're gonna just come up hella easy like i feel like so many people are famous now that like what are y'all famous for you feel me like mm -hmm. either you famous because you got Clout off somebody else, you look good, or you hang around, you feel me, the right people. And I'm not hating, shit. Network, you feel me? But, like, I just feel like it's that but no talent. Like, it could be all of that with talent. Like, you know, like, I feel like certain people need to be up that's not up. Like, and not even talking about myself at this point, but just saying, you know? Honestly, what do I do? I don't know. I just talk to a camera, so hey. I feel like my opinion about... BBL and lipo and all that is do what makes you happy. You know what I'm saying? If you want to be snatched, slim waist, thick booty, <laughs> baby, go do that because that's what's best for you. But don't do it for the wrong reasons, boo. Because at the end of the day, you're going to have to live with the decisions that you make. That's facts. That's facts. Starbucks is overrated. I'm sorry, I don't, I'm not sorry, actually. Starbucks is overrated, like, I feel like I don't, like, I can, I'll pick a Fanta slush from McDonald's over Starbucks. Like, I'll pick a Arnold Palmer from Chick-fil-A over Starbucks. Like, I, only thing really good there is like they caramel fraps to me, I don't know. And the uh, little lemonade, the little acai's, them cool too, but. Other than that, like, it's not somewhere I'm finna be like, oh, I'm finna go to Starbucks. Like, how everybody be at Starbucks every day? No. Haven't had Starbucks in, like, mad long. But that's just me. If y'all think something is hella good there, put me on. Because maybe I'm just not, you feel me? But it's overrated to me. Everybody be hyping it up. I don't know. I don't understand them long lines for what. <laughs> <laughs> People might take the black card away from me because, <laughs> guess what? I don't like hams or cornbread. <laughs> And I really don't care what your opinion is. <laughs> I don't like it. Like, something about it makes it just, makes me want to puke. I don't think I've ate yams, for real. I don't like it. Cornbread to me, it's cool, it's just dry. Like, dry. I don't really eat cornbread like that. Like, it's just dry, like. I'd rather not. Yeah. <laughs> no, ma'am. Y'all, Monique is going to get me. She's going to get me for this one, but I don't give a fuck. I don't think it's bad to wear bonnets outside. I'm sorry, I said it, there it is. I personally do not think it's bad to wear bonnets outside. Like it's it's a time and place obviously for bonnets, but like you going to the grocery store, you rolling out of bed, I'm wearing my bonnet because I'm coming right back home. You on a flight, you got an airplane to catch, like I'm wearing my bonnet, I'm not coming to the airport full beat, full hair, or full, like everything out because I'm going to sleep on the plane, like. Why am I, why can't I wear my bonnet? I'm going right back to sleep, baby. Like, right. you feel me? Like running errands here and there, you know, cool. I'm gonna wear my bonnet. I am. I used to wear my bonnet to class and that's probably a little, a little too much, but hey, I was late. I had to do what I had to do, okay? Like, I don't feel like it's bad. Like, I feel like if white people was out wearing bonnets all the time and stuff, it'll be okay, but. Mm -hmm. We do announce a problem. It's unprofessional. It's not good. You can meet anybody when you're outside. Well, baby, the right man gonna like me mm -hmm. through and through <laughs> for whatever. So, yeah, but I just, I that's my opinion. I'm sorry, not sorry. I don't know who to, who needs to hear this one. But let them dead ends go. <laughs> what? 
them dead ends. <laughs> like, it's stringy. Oh my gosh. See, I, I cut my hair all the time, so I ain't even got an opinion on I cut my hair. hair. I cut my hair too, but. No, like, I ain't got none for real. You know, like, I'm giving the little boy. <laughs> Young man. I, I had, I did that too, though. I did it before. I did. I was a bald head scared away. I'm weak. <laughs> itch. But, anyways, let the dead ends go. It's about to be a new year. Cleanse your body. Take off them dead ends. It's dead. It's dead hair. It's dead hair. <laughs> If it don't look full, it's dead. Okay, if you wash it and you see some little strings, cut them. <laughs> Just cut them. Let them go. Some of y'all gonna hate me for this one, but I don't care. I feel like Drake's album, Certified Lover Boy, ate Kanye West's album. Donda, I didn't even, you know what I'm saying? But he ate it, ate it up. I, I feel like Donda was overhyped, overrated, and was not given what it was supposed to give. But Certified Lover Boy, that's that one. Sorry, that's my opinion. Like, all them re-releases and release parties, like, boy, you could have just kept it in a vault. Period. <laughs> okay. Trina. <laughs> Trina. <laughs> Let me tell you. Trina is the best rapper. <laughs> Female rapper. <laughs> and I'm just going to say it like this. Okay? I say Nikki, but. Oh, she say Nikki. That's just my opinion. <laughs> I like Trina. <laughs> okay, cause she just do something to my soul. Okay, she say Nikki, I say Trina. But I'm just saying the barbs are where it's at. But all right, I got grass, you know. Trina's where it's at. Hear me out for this one. Hear me the fuck out. Hear me out. But I feel like ghosting is okay. Like I don't think. I, think I don't think it. ghosting is all that bad that it's set out to be like. Now, let me explain myself, though, because I feel like it's in certain situations. Like, say somebody did you mad dirty or did some, you feel me, some shit you don't like. I'm ghosting you. I feel like we're adults. I don't have to sit here and explain to you what you did wrong. I don't feel like I have to sit here and tell you that I'm about to stop fucking with you. I'm just going to leave you where you're at. Like, I'm going to leave you alone. I'm sorry. I don't care. It is what it is. You did not get me. You, you just didn't make the cut. You didn't make the cut. I'm sorry. Like, not gonna worry. So, I feel like in certain situations, ghosting is okay. Protect your peace at all motherfucking costs. But if you just being like, you're like the weirdo and like you're leading somebody on and then you ghost them, now that's not cool. Don't play with people's feelings. But for other reasons, protect your peace at all costs. I'm gonna ghost you. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. Y'all probably gonna hate me after I say this. But I ain't gonna lie, Summer Walker album wasn't really hitting for me. Like, I like like two to three songs, but please don't, please don't kill me. But I'm so sorry. I listened to the whole thing. <clears throat> and I just wasn't feeling some of it. Some of it. <laughs> Most of it. That's your opinion. That's You're entitled to your opinion. Uh, Y'all see how easy we just did that? Cause I really, I was. She had something to say. I was rolling, punching air, but I'ma just. It's her opinion. It's my opinion. Hear me out, right? I personally feel like it's okay to chase the bag and party. Like I feel like it doesn't have to be. Right now, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to like be rich. I'm trying to get rich. I'm, I'm worried about nothing but money. Like I don't even got, I could party later. Like I'm sorry that whole I could party later thing. Like I get it. Yes, you can party later, but like you're young. Like why are you putting that much freaking stress on yourself to work 25A? Like we're young. Like yes, get to the back. Don't get me wrong. Like I'm not saying slack off all the little shit, but. You can you can party like it's okay to take a break like okay, mental health is serious like if you're working on gold da, 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 first of all you're gonna get gray hairs real quick you're gonna be older than you are way too quick you're gonna be 25 acting 60 not cute not it so like I just don't feel like it has to be one or the other like a lot of people be like oh I'm working right now I'll party later like okay that's cool like I like that mindset like that you feel me I understand the mindset don't get me wrong because I'm a hustler day in day out but at the same time 
I'm gonna have fun. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have fun. Like, I'm not gonna be stuck up. I'm 23. We're young, bro. Like, it's the time to make mistakes, party, and let loose. Because when you are older, your back, first of all, I'm 23. My back be giving out now. But all your body parts ain't gonna feel the same. Like, a club ain't gonna feel the same. You're gonna be in a club. 30, 35, 40 with 20 year olds. Like, it's just, it's not a, like, party with your people now. Like, but make that bag, get that bag through the hustle. But, like, it don't gotta be one or the other. That's how I feel. Period. <laughs> okay, well, this hair thing, Arias A versus Jonathan, right? Mm hmm. I'm always gonna be an Arias A, baby. <laughs> Jonathan, I love his personality, but baby, <laughs> arrogant Tay hey, will slay you to the mother God. Like, don't get me wrong, Jonathan is good. <laughs> very, very, very good. But arrogant Tay hey, just fucking slay. <laughs> and it's no argument. I don't think and I, I said what I said. That. She said what she said. I don't never really got an opinion on that one. Alright, last one. Last but not least, baby. This is gonna be a two in one. It's a two in one -er. So the first thing I said is micro influencers are eating up big influencers. And by that I mean they're putting in a lot more work and more effort. Like bigger influencers, I feel like they're established in their position. They're comfortable. Like I'm not saying they're comfortable to not do it better, but like they're comfortable. They're at a good point in their life. So they're starting to just do whatever at this point. You know, like I'ma just post this. I'm post I feel like micro influencers, because they have the grind and they're hungry to get where that big influencer is, they put in ten times the work. 10 times the ideas on a outfit, 10 times the ideas on a content. They put in the extra like oomph that it need. You know, like I feel like bigger influencers kind of just skate, you know, they kind of just skate at some point. But it's, it's some big influencers that's still eating it up, don't play. But like, I just feel like the work ethic and stuff, micro influencers got it way harder than the bigger influencers because the bigger influencers already did the grind. Yeah. You feel me? Like now they grinding and right now they eating it up. And my last but not least one that I had to say is that I feel like people need to start giving smaller influencers, you know, like me and her, a chance to really like see this platform and take this platform for what it is like the bigger influencers had a chance. You feel me? I feel like it's so much harder to come up now. Like the blogs are only posting the same people. Right. People that are watching YouTube and stuff are only being stuck on the same people. They're not opening, expanding themselves to newer people, newer influencers, right. which makes it harder for other influencers to come up and just, you know, get a, at least get a chance right. to get the platform. Like if they trash, they trash. That is what it is. But I feel like the chance not even there for real. everybody's so stuck in who they know like you for me it's gonna always be about just these people it's never nobody new that come to light in my opinion like it be shit going on in the little small smaller youtuber community and when i say smaller i mean like less than 500k all the way down to zero like i say that's still smaller we ain't in the millions yet. you know what i'm saying like so i feel like it's so much that go on within that bubble within us and it's it don't never get the airtime it need, like, but that's just my opinion, you know? So, and I'm not just speaking for myself. Like, I see so many other influencers that 200K, 300K, and they popping, like, they doing the do, and they not getting the recognition that they should. But, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed today's Vlogmas video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications. Once again, these are our opinions, so read it and weep you like it you like it you don't you don't sorry not sorry but go subscribe to us follow us if y'all want another unpopular opinion video if you want a specific topic let us know or let me know and i got you but i'll see you guys in my next video let me on a quick positive note beat your face not people bye